Friday afternoon, Black Friday, as the Nebraska Cornhuskers come to town. Of course, you know the story. Iowa wins. They clinch a second consecutive Big Ten West Championship and trip to Indianapolis for an appearance in the Big Ten title game. There have been plenty, uh, plenty of rough waters, Ed, to navigate uh, uh, this season, uh, up and down uh, for the last three months, but on a huge role here in the last month. The Hawks have strung together a, a four game winning streak and a lot of that has to do with the 27 seniors that we're officially saying goodbye to at Kinnick Stadium today. Boy that's a bunch of people 27 in one class. Well let's hope the season extends well beyond what anybody thought uh, six weeks ago. The Hawks are seven and four five and three in the Big Ten West. They strung together those four straight wins to become not only bowl eligible but now in position to represent the West Division should they defeat the Huskers. The Heartland is brought to you by University of Iowa Healthcare. Changing medicine, changing lives. U.S. Cellular, the official wireless partner of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Tailback goes in motion. Thompson straight back to pass. Looking down the middle of the field. Plenty of time. Pass deflected in it. The line of scrimmage. Good job as uh, Logan Lee got his mid up in the air and knocked it down. Fakes the uh, handoff to Grant. Now he gets it outside to Palmer who gets upfield. Great blocking. And he's rolled out of bounds inside the aisle with 40. You've got an injured, got an injured Hawkeye down. That's Cooper DeGene. Nebraska threatening here on its first possession after the injury to Cooper DeGene. On third down at six, Thompson takes his time now, gets the ball right at his kneecaps. Here comes the blitz. The oh, ball's up in the air and almost intercepted down at the three. Kayvon Merriweather came on a safety blitz and just crushed Casey Thompson. Tommy Bleakroad, he's eight of ten on the year. Only ten attempts, he's made eight, so he's been accurate. It'll come from the 23. It's a 33 yard attempt. And it's a pop fly. Wide right. No good. Oh, they got pressure on him, too. And he may have seen the left side of that Iowa line crashing in. Ethan Herkett is in the defensive line for Iowa as Nebraska starts first and 10 at its own 13. A play fake, a rollout right. Thompson's going down the middle of the field, has a man wide open, and he's off to the races, heading to the end zone. It's going to be a touchdown, Nebraska. Well, they Trey were Palmer, their outstanding receiver, no flags, and Nebraska's on the board in lightning fashion. Well, they went after our freshman cornerback, T.J. Hall. Here comes a blitz. Petrus is caught from behind, fumbles the ball. Nebraska says they have it, but they're gonna they're gonna blow Petrus down. He was lucky there, as he got stripped from behind. And there's one of uh, what we'll see many blitzes today. They'll review it. It's a fumble. You think it's a fumble? The knee, at least what I saw, the knee wasn't down when the ball came out. And uh, Nebraska with a short field at the Iowa 31 yard line. Here's Thompson with two backs, including a fullback. Fakes the handoff to the tailback, rolls right, pass is thrown behind the intended receiver incomplete. That's Travis Vokalek. This is like a PAT from the 11 yard line, so it's a 21 yard field goal attempt. It's right through. 10 0 Nebraska. Yeah, Dolph, you're right. Uh, Spencer Petrus has the red hat on, and um, you know, as you mentioned, looked like he fell on that uh, right throwing arm and was kind of making a throwing motion. Looked okay going into the tent, but obviously um, not going to happen. He came out, went up to Alex Padilla, and um, gave him a fist bump and said, hey, uh, I can't go. So it's going to be Alex Padilla. Going to run straight ahead. Big hole for Caleb Johnson. He plows his way up to the 30, where he'll be a couple yards shy of a first down. Now he's got running room across the 40, 45. Roll down out of bounds up near midfield. Big hole off the left side of the line for the Hawks. The Hawks are starting to punch some holes now in that Nebraska run defense. Here comes a blitz, though, and avoiding it is LaShawn Williams. And he ends up getting five, six yards. What a move from the Nebraska 29. They need nine. The Hawks do for a first down. Oh, man. Padilla bobbles, bobbles the football. Now he's tackled. If the ball comes out, it's fumbled, picked up by Nebraska. And I think it's going to be Nebraska football. Yep. At the Iowa 39-yard line. Blitz, corner blitz again, uh, and uh, they guessed right. First and ten, here's Thompson. 
Gets the snap, throws to the middle of the field, caught, touchdown. Trey Palmer again. The Hawks hustle to the locker room with uh, many adjustments to be made, but two turnovers and four penalties have put him in a 17 to nothing hole here at halftime. The Heartland is brought to you by Iowa's Corn Farmers of the Iowa Corn Growers Association and Iowa Corn Promotion Board. When corn grows Iowa, Iowans win. hy V, the official grocery partner of Iowa Hawkeyes football. Day, that's for sure. Three turnovers. It is 24 to nothing. Uh, Nebraska. Bruce to the short side. Padilla to throw. Steps up in the pocket. Fires and caught. Nice catch in heavy traffic by Nico Regani. Or check that. Luke Lachey, the tight end. Second down five at the Husker 44 with 8.44 to play in the third quarter. Here's a misdirection play and it, it's open. Johnson gets the corner turn. He's heading for the end zone. 10-5, touchdown. Touchdown, Iowa. Nebraska, again, to your point, overloading the right side. The Hawks countered the other way and Johnson was gone. Boy, has he got great speed. When he gets outside, nobody's going to catch him. Two defensive backs had angles on him. Luke Lachey with a great block for the Hawkeyes. It sprung him. Husker 28-yard line. He's back to pass. He's being pressured, grabbed, and threw it into the dirt. Now that should be grounding. Int intentional grounding. There wasn't anybody there but an offensive lineman. Uh, now they do drop the flag. Grounding. Iowa football is in a heck of a wrestling match with Nebraska at the moment. First and 10 for the Hawks. Quick out route by Padilla to Regani. He slides by two Huskers. Gets downfield for a first down. Nice run after the catch. As Nico likes to say, that was a good yak there. Of yards after the catch. Two big fumbles in the uh, first half by Hawkeye quarterbacks. Led to 10 Husker points. They got up early 17 to nothing. Here's Padilla on a crossing route. First down up near midfield. Caught by Luke Lachey. Boy, is he going to be fun to watch the next couple of years. Second down, 10. The ball to 44 of the Hawkeyes with 8.35 to go. Still time, but the Hawks have got to score on almost every possession. Here's Lachey again. This time at the 44-yard line of Nebraska, and he drags the defender out of bounds. Here comes a blitz. Padilla's hit as he lets it go. It's caught and still on his feet. Getting to the 35 of Nebraska is Regani. Regani and Luke Lachey are the go-to guys here in the second half. Empty backfield for Padilla. He throws and it's caught inside the five. Lachey fighting for the goal line. Over! Touchdown! Touchdown, Iowa! Luke Lachey with three white shirts draped all over him. Dragged him into the end zone. That is a great play. That is a terrific play. And the Hawks, pending the point after try, can get to within 10, 24, 13, as it now stands. And a really good throw, too, right on rhythm. It was. Gavin Williams was out in the slot, and he took the cornerback to the side. Uh, never really expected the ball, but he got Lachey open. It looks like three tight ends. Or H back and tight ends. And they're gonna run straight ahead. Oh, they look at their signal like we've got the ball. They are gonna take a peek at it. The ball was coming loose from the runner, and Iowa recovered the football. It's first down and ten. Iowa at the 27-yard line. There is a Hawkeye God. Turn the Nebraska fumble into three. Drew Stevens kicked from the 35 yard line, 45 yard kick attempt to draw the Hawks to within a touchdown. Ball on the way, and it's right through. Money, Drew Stevens. 16 for 18 on the year with 541 to go in the game. It is a 24 17 score. Offset eye for the Huskers. They stack two receivers left, one comes in motion. Thompson. Hands off the ground. Oh, and he's run over by Noah Shannon. 
Shannon came free and bowls over Anthony Grant for a three-yard loss. Well, they, they have the ball back at the 18, so it is third down and 14. Here's Padilla. Here comes the blitz. He gets rid of the ball. It's caught. Across the 33. Touchdown. Well, I wish it was a touchdown. First <laughs> down. It's a first down. <laughs> and guess who? Luke Lachey. Iowa trailing 24-17. Here comes blitz. the all-out blitz. Padilla running for his life. Lobs it up the far sideline. Has a man open. And it's caught. It's caught by Arlen Bruce. Now was he in bounds? Oh, my goodness. What a catch. They're conferring right now. If it holds. This will go to It review. is a catch. Catch. At the 40-yard line of Nebraska. With two minutes and 12 seconds to go. And two timeouts. They're saying his, sec- his outside foot was out of bounds. Before he before, secured the be- ball. Before the knees came down or before he secured the yeah, ball? Yeah, before he secured the ball. And here comes the snap. Padilla, deep drop, has time. Throws upfield and it's intercepted. Intercepted and that'll sew it up for Nebraska. The Hawkeyes, with great effort in the second half, come up a little short, 24-17. to 17. Good evening and welcome into Army West Point as we get ready for Hawkeye Wrestling taking on the Black Knights of Army. Nestled here about 50 miles north of New York City. This is a training academy for the U.S. military. It's awesome. Love it. Uh, Nothing but the utmost respect for the U.S. military and the U.S. Military Academy, obviously. A lot of history here and, and, uh, you know, those guys were we're kind of pushing us out of our own corner. And I said, hey, I can I can come along here. I can come along here. You can make it tough on us, but you ain't gonna keep me out of here. Duck attempt by Harkins and a great down block into a reshot by Kennedy. Gives him a seven to one lead. Just staying tough with the guy and um, I felt good putting points up. And rolls hips up onto the head. Now comes all the way out front, pinching it. Again, he gets into that whip over. He's being patient with it, driving down for the fall. On a good Friday evening, welcome into the Armory in Albany, New York, as we get ready for the arm bar at the Armory. Kelly for the Hawkeyes, leading 2-1. to one. Double leg comes up into a body lock. Situation on the edge, gets the takedown to the back. Now Glazier has that far wrist, did get the four count. Carver Hawkeye Arena, Mediacom Matt sees the Hawkeyes welcoming in the 21st-ranked Quakers from Penn. Nice ovation as Nelson Brands introduced his first action of the season. Very drops. Nice. Gets to the Left-handed leg, driving through, crush. and gets the two. Nice. He's one for one. Definitely felt like I could get to his legs fairly easily. I didn't. I was being kind of a wuss. Take it from Spencer's mouth. Warner trailing by a point. We roll him through. We and come out on top of our wow. two-point takedown. Aaron shot by Mir deep here. Got to cut the inside. The elevates up, trying to limp arm out. This, this is what it's all about. This is this is fun. This is uh, this is what I'm gonna miss it next year whenever I'm not able to compete in Cobra Hockey Arena. So there now he gets around behind. Oh, oh, the two yes, yes, down. yes. When out there, just I need to get one. Just get one. That's all. So. 157 pounds. Last match of the night. Kobe Seabreck for the Hawkeyes taking on number 10 Anthony Artelona, senior with a 7-0 record. A lot of time too. This ain't good. No, and Seabreck, Seabreck rolls, rolls him off, off though. And he puts Artelona on his back. Up. Look at this. He fought and fought and fought, kept that shoulder up, and then when he hit the roll through, it was there. Trying to adjust. Gets it's it. Oh, 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 no, he it back. back the other way. back. That's it. That's oh. 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 You know, match isn't over till the last whistle blows or till the rest slaps the mat. So you never know what's going to happen. So, you know, just have that uh, kind of that hope, having faith, like getting off my back. You know, I still got a chance to win this match. Hi, my name is Anta. I play field hockey for the University of Iowa. I'm a defender and I'm from Eindhoven, the Netherlands. I started playing when I think I was like five or six. My Both my parents played, so I started pretty young. We're a big hockey family. 
Yeah, I actually decided pretty late to come here and I committed like three months before I even flew out here. So it was really like last minute. I decided basically because my friends played for other universities and I heard like stories, like how much they loved it. So then I thought, let's give it a shot. And now we're here five years later. <laughs> At home field hockey is a big sport and soccer is a big sport but like baseball, foot, American football, like all this kind of sports and like how everyone's just like so excited to celebrate sports is just really, really great. I think it's aggressive. I like to bring the fire but sometimes you gotta calm it down but just distributing the ball, just my composure. I'm not a person that will go like dribble through like five people. I like to pick out a pass and then defending I just try to make it easy for myself and like organize everyone around me so that coming up with the ball makes it easier. I think maybe my goal against Michigan, that was like one of the games where like everyone was here and it was like such a great like vibe all over the field. Just that whole like experience was great. Winning um, the Big Ten tournament at Penn State because that's the first time that we won both um, regular season and tournament. Yeah, and to score, like to win that game, it, I think it was like 26 seconds into overtime that was just unreal. Spaghetti, pasta, any type of pasta. This is actually a really good question. I can eat pasta every night. See how excited I got? <laughs> I would say Roger Federer because I watched him when I was young too. My parents also watched tennis a lot. Justin Bieber. <laughs> I don't know, that just came to my mind. <laughs> Yesterday we were in the training room and we were like looking up how many hours like everyone's on their phone. I can't say <laughs> the amount of hours I've been on TikTok. It's really embarrassing. Bora Bora from like the Maldives. Like any island with like blue waters, white sands, we'll do it. Nina Dobrev. In the Vampire Diaries. She's pretty, so she can play me. <laughs> uh, I think we're just gonna focus on improve our game in the Big Ten tournament. Um, hopefully, go as far as we can. But I think the most important part is just improving our game um, and like getting better every day. This has been a presentation from Learfield.